Maya Berger has been in the news a lot uh, recently, certainly um, uh, with the announcement that uh, you're wanting to acquire uh, Roth and Rao. Uh, can you give us an understanding of uh, why you would, would buy a company such as Roth and Rao when uh, this is not uh, an in, uh, seen as an inherent part of your, your existing business portfolio? Yeah, it is, uh, this acquisition is according to our strategy, which we settled in already in 2006, the plan to grow along the supply chain and to own uh, important and, uh, let's say, innovative technologies so that we can um, develop the whole supply chain in new, innovative ways. Now, um, Roth and Rao uh, were struggling for a while. Uh, they were doing uh, reorganizations internally. Uh, they were dropping some of their turnkey operations. Um, you know, why, why Roth and Rao? There's plenty of other companies out there. No, Roth and Rao owns, uh, as I said, significant important technologies for us. So we are technology driven. And if they struggle, if they do some reorganizations, yes, okay, that can happen in, a, in the history of a company. But this was not the main reason to jump in because they are in, in trouble. Actually, we are not interested to acquire trouble. That's not our major goal. Our, our major goal is, as mentioned, develop technologies and uh, make sure that we are able to bring new supply chains in the market with, uh, as I said, innovative uh, rocket science, maybe rocket science technology, so that we really can uh, turn the market upside down with, with other thinking. Now, is this, is this in, uh, uh, specifically in areas of uh, cell processing or uh, in other areas? What, what, what is the, no, the, the key? The, the key is that we combine now the wafer technology with the cell technology and the module technology, and this is dependent from each other and that's important because the, the influence from the wafering we just have seen going now deeper in the module business we have seen that the wafer technology or wafering technology has a direct impact in the way in the module and as well as in the cell so we can manage that now and we can accelerate the development of new processes and implement also new processes much faster than we were able before for example, the diamond wire process, which took us a long time, and now we expect that processes like this would be accelerated heavily. Now, you mentioned uh, diamond wire. Is uh, diamond wire uh, going to be used for actually uh, the actual uh, wafering side, or is it uh, primarily going to be used at the ingot level? And both, both. My, uh, mainly at today, mainly on the bricking side, yes. But the wafering side gives us a, a really big upside so that we can accelerate the productivity or the inc uh, improve or increase the productivity per wire saw, per saw, in a way that we are able to handle this volume needed in the future. So it's a matter of market need and not only bringing new technology, it's a matter how can we handle volume. And you, you feel that, that uh, uh, the, wire t uh, the diamond wire technology, uh, especially when we consider the huge expansions going on uh, at the wafer level, uh, is this a, a significant cost reduction uh, uh, for customers or is this more of a being able to uh, drive down uh, wafer thickness? It, no, no, not only wafer thickness. This is, a, let's say, a side effect we have. Mainly it is, uh, reducing the cost on one hand, but as I said, also reducing complexity and uh, increase the productivity per equipment. And this opens new ways along the whole supply chain. And that's the reason why, why we have these technologies in the group. Well, obviously, uh, much of the expansions for, uh, in wafering is, is happening in Asia. Uh, how important is the Asian market to you right now? Yeah, today it's one of our major markets, definitely. Uh, and it will develop also as a major market. But we expect that also other markets develop and we will see in the future also decentralized manufacturing capacities in different countries of this world. It's a matter of where do you generate energy and where do you generate values for the different countries. It's more a political side than a, a real economical side. It's a matter uh, is a country uh, interested to have the uh, own 
uh, technology and create own values in the country. Now, I remember a, a few years ago um, in, in uh, the last you know, serious boom that the, that the uh, PV industry had, you were very much capacity constrained uh, in producing enough wire saws for the market. And I, I believe you spent a lot, you invested a lot up front in extra capacity. Uh, are we still, are you finding uh, uh, lead times are still very long because of this new wave of, uh, of growth in uh, uh, wafer expansions? Yeah, we invested mainly in managing um, all the management skills and uh, infrastructure for managing the supply chain. Not really in uh, investing in capacity. That we are not a capacity in intensive uh, business. And we are at the moment able to deliver what the customer requires. Uh, but we have also to see that this uh, increased demand comes also from the financial crisis. So we had somehow a, a vacuum which has to be covered afterwards. That's one part we are in. And on the other hand, uh, we have to be able to, uh, to provide machines on a flexible base to our customer. We have to match the customer need and uh, their lead time in general is not an issue for us since the company, the customers also need uh, preparing their infrastructure. So in this period of time, we are ready to deliver machines. Now, um, obviously, uh, the uh, backlog, uh, order backlog has been growing, uh, businesses uh, doing very well. What, what, what do you expect from a revenue point of view this year? Our guidance we already did. We expect 1.2 billion Swiss franc turnover and based on an order book of slightly above 1 billion. So a certain, a certain downturn in the, uh, during the year is already calculated. Right. Now obviously the, the company has been a, a, a keen uh, acquisitor of, of companies. Uh, the, the, uh, we mentioned obviously the Roth and Rao uh, acquisition. This is nothing new to the company. Wh why, why is the company so, so uh, involved in acquisitions? Yeah, for us it's a matter of, as mentioned, uh, to own the technology and to manage the technology along the supply chain, to understand that along, to accelerate the development in this industry because the industry requires fast innovation, fast developments. That's one part. On the other side, we have also to pass a critical mass for this industry to be a player in this industry and able to serve our also fast growing customer. Right. So, so what you're saying then is, you know, you're seeing the trend where uh, as PV manufacturers and, and other customers are getting bigger and bigger as the industry is growing, their, their dependence is, is obvious that they're needing bigger company, bigger equipment companies to support them across multiple uh, product platforms. Yeah, the multiple platforms, that's one, one part, yes, but on the other side we have also to maintain a service and process support organization structure, costs also money, and on the other hand what is more important is financing research and development for future technologies and therefore you need somehow a body being able to, to finance that and therefore you need a certain size or, with other words, a critical mass. Now s some companies have been uh, a well known for, uh, as a business model, being a, a turnkey supplier. That's not the case with yourselves. You know, uh, how, you describe this as uh, that you're a systems provider. What, what do you mean, actually mean by that? Turnkey provider is, uh, is someone who collects contracts and takes responsibility towards a customer and managing different companies, providing some uh, machines, equipment, not knowing all the processes along this chain. If we talk about system supplier, then we talk about the integrated uh, systems or machines so that you have a process chain so that you can buy uh, a result. Let's say you have an input and you have an outcome and what is between in terms of key technology we own and we understand so that we can provide the processes in total to the customer and that we are really the process owner and being able to teach all our customers and to support them along this whole supply chain. Now um, part of uh, 
the attempts to uh, expand the, the product portfolio of the company, uh, and obviously we, we've had the Roth and Rao uh, announcement. Uh, I'm intrigued that uh, quite a few commentators, uh, industry analysts, uh, are looking at why Maya Berger would not be interested in a company like GT Solar, who makes the uh, furnaces that are evolved in the wafering, so because of the you know, tremendous growth in that area, and you're obviously experiencing that uh, on the wire saw side. Why wouldn't someone like a GT Solar be a, or an acquisition uh, target interest to yourselves? GT Solar is, a, they own a mature technology, a single product, which, yeah, as mentioned, is mature in the market, so it's not really rocket science technology, it's known. And uh, only because of the volume, we, we do not acquire a company. We acquire a company which owns technology, which can, can be further developed and gives us key technology for innovation along the whole supply chain. And GT Solar is here out of the focus, also from the volume and the value. So regardless of the, the natural synergies, shall we say, of, you know, of uh, bringing together uh, uh, the furnace uh, ingot production with the wire soaring aspects, that's not of interest to you? From outside view it could be, but you know, this is, might be from financial analysts an interesting story, but not from the technology view, point of view and also not from the managerial point of view. So that's definitely not... Uh... So I guess this, this goes back then to, to the question that your, your systems business it the system is about innovating in in various areas that, that are what are they enabling higher productivity are they reducing the cost of ownership or are they focused on uh, just simply you know higher yield aspects at the end all ends with dollar Swiss franc euro or whatever per kilowatt hour price per energy that's the target. So we have to reduce the cost for energy in this world and be a player for a new future energy mix, which is an absolute competitive uh, resource for energy. That's the major target. Significant reduction of energy cost. Now, um, back to acquisitions. I mean, the company has been expanding very rapidly um, and you've, you, you've expanded your, your management uh, team. Uh, to handle that, I, is this part of? Is that the end of of acquisitions for for Maya Berger, or is, is this part of becoming a, a top rival to the likes of Applied Materials and actually keep keep on growing that way? We learned. We learned. Never say never again, uh, and that's also valid for us. But uh, as we also announced last time when we went together with 3S Module Technology, we also said so. Let's settle that. Let's integrate that first successfully, and then if we see something which is interesting, okay, we are open, but uh, it's not the way that we are hungry uh, for uh, acquisition. First we do that correctly, successfully, and then if we see something, then we go for it. But so it's not say no, and it is not a clear yes. If there is an opportunity, we analyze it, and then we will see how we organize and handle that. Uh, final question for you, Peter. Uh, what, do you, uh, what are you hoping for uh, for the PV industry in general for this year? Um, what, what's your own personal outlook? Yeah, for sure, uh, as we all know, at the moment we are slightly in a downturn. It's a little bit an unknown situation since we are between the feed-in tariff discussion in Germany, Italy, Spain, and the Fukushima effect, we are just in between some un, uh, unsecure situations and uh, I look forward that uh, sinking in new energy mixes really boosts this market up in a dimension what we expect and what we plan for so that we do, do not get a vacuum which we have to cover afterwards so that we can go for uh, continuous investment and continuous uh, secured environment.